Hi everyone, this is Daniel from Geek Room, and today I want to show you how easy it is to use Java Enterprise Beans and how easily validate them using JUnit. So let's get started. At first I want you to reconsider what we did last time. I wrote the index.jsp and I even so wrote the hello servlet. And we now want to insert plain old Java code here in both of these. And using this is quite different from servlets to JSPs, but it's both quite easy, as you will see. So at first I want to tell you what's the benefit of it using Java Beans. Why should I do this? So let's go to the index JSP because it's more likely to see here. So if I would like to insert dynamic code here, it was easy to edit here in the end. I could easily write right in line like this. I say just out uh, and say print line. Um, a statement and I say hello. So I say hello and let's test whether we can see it. Okay, we are now with the... Okay, there's hello. So that's an inline statement. The, the problem is the code is not reusable. And so I do use the third method just using Java Beans. Because Java Beans is reusable and it is reusable upon multiple applications. And because it is independent of my business logic, changing this does not affect any server pages and it does not affect um, the business logic to be changed when the website changes. So And so Java Beans make it far more easy to maintain your website and your business logic as well. And so you can could have teams generating code for Java Beans, so just plain old Java objects, it's not anymore. And you could have teams writing your HTML code right in JSP. And so it makes your business write more easy. And Java Beans has a lot of benefits for you, as you will see. So now before we can insert a JSP and Java Enterprise Bean, let's generate one. And it's called Session Bean. I name my Session Bean Hello Bean because it just has to say hello. And even so, the package is called. When I click finish, it generates my method, and I say, okay, insert code, add a new business method. That's correct. The name of my business method is say hello, and the return time would be a string. Now I go to my parameters and say add. The name is name, and I click OK. And here's my method, and I say say hello does hello dot name and uh, we finish the statement with, with a uh, dot so never in your business use the plus operator to concatenate strings every time use string builders or string buffers but use string builders it's more modern I just use it here because it's fast and it's, it's easy to read. But never do this for dynamic data, okay? And I say save it. And I would like to start with the servlet because adding a bean right into Java code is a little more... Um, it's, it's more naive to see. So I use the add operator, so that's an annotation, and I say enterprise Java Bean. My Java Bean is called Hello Bean, and the local name for it will be Bean. And I just import the Bean package, and that's it. And now I just have to add my server page to say hello to my Java Bean. I will put it, put it in H3. And I say bean dot say hello. And we're saying hello to Oracle. Oracle. 
and um, we're just finishing the H3 statement. And if we now go to our Hello Bean, you can see Hello Oracle. You know, the uh, page assessed count has been changed, not because we are redeploying, but because we restarted the entire server. Okay, and if I'm going back, reverting my changes, there's no Hello Oracle again. Okay, let's save this. He's redeploying and there's Hello Oracle. So now, the other part, adding this bean right into a JSP page. I told you it is quite a different way and I paste it here. It's just a JSP statement, so I say use bean. My ID again is bean, like here my local name has been bean. The, session, the scope is session that determines where I can use it and the class is referenced by package.javabean. Okay, and I'm ready to use my Java bean here. And um, now I just say, okay, here's some Java, uh, Java code and I say b and I say, okay, out.println so, and I say bean dot say hello to Oracle. He's redeploying, and as we can see, there's hello Oracle. Okay, and as you can see, adding Java beans within a JSP and the servlet is quite easy. We could do it, and it's no stress anymore. And um, now there's just another thing I want you to consider. So when you have multiple beans and you have a quite complex project or a quite complex business method, you might want to test your beans and not just within your code. That's not the way we're doing this. We do it with JUnit because JUnit is scalable and JUnit is quite uh, a convenient way to test packages. And uh, so I say to my bean, I uh, do add here from tools, create JUnit test, and I say him, okay, the name is okay, the location is okay, and all these things can be left. And so I go to the right bottom part to this JUnit test, and here is my, here's my name, uh, for for uh, where I pasted Oracle, and my expected result will be hello Oracle. I I really did hear a mistake, so I missed a comma just to show you that JUnit works. So and now I say uh, run file, and he's now opening my test results tab. He's running and this could last a little time to initialize or JUnit and he is now in the background passing my tests and he's comparing this to my expected result and he is expecting hello world without a comma and so I expect him now to say the test has failed and so he did. And so if I now go back to the bottom of my page and add your comma, save it, and I say him to rerun the test, so I now expect him to say, okay, your bean is correct, and all the tests we did, so it's just one method, but all the tests has been passed. I hope it works right now, so um, he has to say test passed and a CE 100%. And so easy it is just to test my Java beans. So I do not have to do it on my working system and I even do not have to look within the source code whether this has been correct or not. So I may, uh, so I may um, transfer Java code that way and I do not want to look every time within the source code whether this is correct so the only important thing is what to enter here and what I do expect here.
and then he's doing this all for me. So I showed you how to insert within a JSP a Java bean, and even so within a servlet. I showed you how to create your bean, and I showed you how to test it. And I wish you very much success within your Java projects. Thank you.